Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our topic of discussion in chemistry and uh, we are discussing the structure of the atom uh, and the periodic table. Now, uh, during the last lesson, uh, we discussed uh, the energy levels and the electron arrangement. So today I want us to see the electron arrangement of the first 20 elements. So the electron arrangement uh, for the first 20 elements, we shall present it as a, as a table whereby we shall have the element, its symbol, we'll have the atomic number, and then finally we can have the electron arrangement. So in our table, we'll start with element hydrogen, which we said is the smallest uh, atom, followed by helium, then lithium, beryllium, the list continues, so this is continued, so we still have the element, we have the symbol the atomic number and lastly so from beryllium we'll go to boron it's continuation then carbon nitrogen then oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, Still the table continues.
So from sulfur, we go to chlorine, then argon, potassium, and finally calcium. So these are the first 20 elements. So in those first 20 elements, hydrogen, the symbol is H, the atomic number is 1, so it has only one electron whose arrangement is just 1. It's only one electron, so that electron is put in the first energy level. Helium, the symbol is HE, the first letter of the symbol should be capital all the time. The atomic number is 2. There are two electrons, therefore the arrangement is 2. So those two electrons will fit in the first energy level. Then lithium, the symbol is Li. Atomic number is 3. And therefore the electrons are 3. The arrangement will be 2 then one, two electrons in the first energy level, then it is full, the remaining one, you take it to the next energy level. Then beryllium, Be, the atomic number is four. The number of electrons are four. The arrangement will be two in the first energy level. And then we are left with the two, we put them in the second energy level. So 2-2 two, two is the electron arrangement. We go to boron, uh, the symbol is B. Uh, the atomic number is 5. Uh, the electron arrangement is 2 in the first energy level, then 3 in the second. Total 5. Carbon, C, as the symbol, uh, the atomic number is 6, the arrangement, we have 6 electrons, so 2 in the first, energy level, then 4. Nitrogen, N, capital, uh, the atomic number is 7. Two electrons in the first energy level, then five in the second. Then oxygen, the symbol is O. The O should be capital. Uh, the number of, uh, the atomic number is eight. That's the atomic number. Electron arrangement is two, then six. So two electrons in the first energy level, then six in the second. Then fluorine is F, atomic number nine. The electron arrangement is two, then seven. Then neon, NE, 10, two, then eight. Then sodium, Na, it's only the first letter that is capital. The other letters are small. 11, atomic number. 11 electrons, 2, first energy level, 8, second energy level. That is the maximum. So the remaining one electron is pushed to the third energy level. So the second energy level 
carries a maximum of eight. More electrons are then pushed on to the next. Magnesium, atomic number 12, therefore 12 electrons, two, eight, two. Then aluminium, AL, 13 atomic number, arrangement is two, eight, three, total 13. Silicon is SI, 14 is the atomic number, 14 electrons, so 2, 8, 4. Phosphorus is P, capital. Atomic number 15, arrangement of electrons, 2, 8, 5. Sulfur, it's S, 16, Two, eight, six. So do not confuse the symbol for sulfur and silicon. Sulfur is S, silicon is SI. So these are difference. So the arrangement, we go to chlorine. Symbol CL. Uh, the number of, uh, the atomic number is 17. The arrangement is 287. Then argon, AR, 18 is the atomic number, 288. Potassium, the symbol is K, 19, atomic number, so 19 electrons, 288. The third energy level is full because it carries a maximum of 8. So the remaining electron, that's the one, we put it to the next energy level. So that is that. Then finally, calcium, atomic number 20. That's what you're saying is the 20th element. Uh, the arrangement within the first 20 elements. Calcium is the 20. They are in that order. 2, then 8, 8, then we are left with 2. So that is the arrangement. So that is how electrons are arranged within the first 20 elements. It's also good to note that electron arrangement is also called electron configuration. So when you see electron configuration and electron arrangement, they mean the same thing. They mean the same thing. Now, uh, looking at uh, uh, the elements that we have, the first 20 elements, uh, they are those that have one electron in the outermost energy level. We say that those ones are in group one. They have one electron in the outermost energy level. There are those that have two electrons in the outermost energy level. So we put those ones in group two. There are those that are having seven electrons in the outermost energy level. We put them in group seven. So we can note that somewhere. that elements having the same number of electrons elements having the same number of electrons in the outermost energy level are put in the same group and you can have an example eg uh, lithium which is 21 
uh, sodium 281 and potassium 2881 all this belong to group 1 belong to group 1 because they have one electron in the outermost energy level in the outermost energy level so if the electrons are two in the outermost energy level then we'll put them in group two if the electrons are three in the outermost energy level then they are in group three for example aluminium and boron as we can see from that uh, uh, table there so members of the same group have the same number of electrons in the uh, outermost energy level. Then we have elements having the same number of occupied energy levels elements having the same number of occupied energy levels are put in the same period so for example potassium and calcium they have one two three four occupied energy levels one two three four so they belong to period 4. If you take chlorine and argon, they have three occupied energy levels. 1, 2, 3. So they belong to period 3. can have an example. can have a, a sodium, which is 281. Magnesium, 282. Aluminium 283. All this they belong to period 3 because they have three occupied energy levels. They have three occupied energy levels. So Note the meaning of group and period. The difference between a group and the same period. So members of the same group have the same number of electrons in the outermost energy level. One, one, one. They belong to group one. And when you are writing the group, write it in Roman numbers. One, two, in Romans. So groups should be in Romans. And then elements having the same number of occupied energy levels, those ones are in the same period. But periods, you just write them normally, the normal way you write uh, number one, two, and three. So you'll have uh, an assignment. So the assignment, the first question, what is a, a group? You define what is a group and what is a period, as we have done. Number two, using the table that we have just drawn, list three members each of group two, you list three members, and period three, you list three members. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music>